My name is Greta Thunberg. I am 15 years old and I'm from Sweden. I speak on behalf of Climate Justice Hello. Now. I'm Stefan Suzuki speaking for ECHO, the Environmental Children's Organization. We're a group of 12 and 13 year olds trying to make a difference. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I'm afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. And now we hear of animals and plants going extinct every day, vanishing forever. All this is happening before our eyes and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. If all the money spent on war was spent on finding environmental answers, ending poverty and finding treaties, what a wonderful place this earth would be. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of the few. Even when we have more than enough, we are afraid to share, we are afraid to let go of some of our wealth. You say you love your children above all else and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. You grown up say you love us, but I challenge you, please, make your actions reflect your words. You have ignored us in the past and you will ignore us again. Are we even on your list of priorities? We have come here to let you know that change is coming, whether you like it or not. And if solutions within this system are so impossible to find, then maybe we should change the system itself. people make noise about climate change and other problems um, but I wish they looked deeper I wish they asked deeper questions like why are people burning fossil fuels what's causing this I wish they would talk more about human behavior what's causing humans to behave like this I wish they would look at the structure of our society and question the structure of our society <laughs> It's us humans, like it's not that aliens are creating these problems or like a bad smell in the air or a, a volcano eruption or something. It's us humans and how we organize ourselves. And we create those problems, of course. These are all human, like man-made problems. Talk about human behavior and if we talk about human behavior, we need to understand that it's shaped by the environment and then we need to ask, okay, what is the environment that shapes people's values and uh, human behavior? And then we have to talk about our trade-based society as that's the structure where people live in. This trade environment is what pushes us to like only think about ourselves, to become egoistic and maybe care less about the environment or less about other people. My wealth was that it speak 600 million euros. Does Harvard Business School teach you how to be a good person? <laughs> no, we're fine-tuned to rule the world. That's it. Smoking tobacco uh, increases your chances of getting lung cancer or other types of cancers quite a bit. Uh, that's not to say that if you smoke cigarettes, you will develop cancer. No, but your likelihood to get cancer increases by a lot. Um, so that's how it is in today's world. If you engage into this trade-based society and you start to trade stuff, you know, especially if you become big companies of work, I'm not saying that it's guaranteed that you'll become a charlatan or an abuser and you'll do bad things. But it's extremely likely you will do so. It's extremely likely. Same way with, with smoking. So I will not recommend any. I will not recommend smoking. The same way that I will not recommend for people to engage 
into this straight based nonsense and craziness. In a society where trade is present, movies get dumber, uh, products get badly made, waste gets created, people become more charlatans, uh, pollution increases and so forth. That's all I'm saying. In that kind of society, this happens. And if we want to get rid of these things, we should probably create an environment when that force is not present.